Today we're joined by Don Rayburn, whose son was diagnosed with stage four cancer in 2004. He's here to tell us a little bit about their story. Don, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and first, could you tell us a little bit about um, like your story and experience um, and your son's experience with cancer? Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me. So Jake was diagnosed in uh, Memorial Day weekend in 2004 with stage four hepatoblastoma, which is uh, a cancer of the liver. Uh, he was immediately transferred to St. Jude and we spent the next two and a half years there. Um, he underwent like 20 rounds of chemotherapy, uh, 15 rounds of radiation to his brain, 11 major surgeries and, and unfortunately passed away October 5th of 2006. But uh, nothing but great things to say about St. Jude. It's a remarkable hospital. So. Uh, you know, even though we lost him, it's, it's an incredible place. Well, I, I can't imagine. How old was Jake when he was? He was diagnosed when he was two and he passed away when he was four. Wow. I definitely can't imagine going through that. And I know you said that um, y'all were treated by St. Jude. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little more, you know, about your experience with St. Jude and kind of how they were able to help you in all different aspects going through this? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously when, you're, when your child is diagnosed with cancer, I mean, it, it's just a, a shock to everyone. Uh, and it's a family event. It's just not the, you know, we had two other boys at the time. So, you know, my wife had to leave her job as a school teacher and we were immediately transferred to Memphis. Uh, once we got there, St. Jude is a, it's an incredible hospital with nothing but, you know, their slogan is hope. Uh, so nothing but hope, you know, they, they treated our child. They, they answered questions for us. They laughed with us. They cried with us. They took care of Jake. They took care of our other boys. They took care of us. Uh, and probably the greatest thing is you never receive a bill from them. So it lets you focus on your child's care and your family's care. And how is the hospital, um, like how are y'all still involved in, in the hospital? Well, still involved, uh, you know, uh, stuff like this. The, the dream home is a big thing. Uh, there's the St. Jude Memphis Marathon uh, weekend every year in Memphis. So I'm actually a St. Jude Heroes Ambassador for the Louisiana Gulf Coast. So I help uh, put on that and help organize that. My daughter is a 10th grader at West Monroe and she's a member of the St. Jude Leadership Society, which is a society for high school kids who help mentor and uh, raise money for St. Jude. Uh, you know, and it's a cool thing because she's raising money for kids who her, her age battling the same thing. Yeah, and I, I read in your bio that she has an interesting middle name that yeah, has a special story. Does. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, my daughter Maddie was born a year after Jake passed, so she never got to meet him. But her middle name is Hope after the St. Jude slogan. So awesome. she brought hope to us. But I can't say enough about St. Jude. It's a remarkable hospital. Still 17 years after Jake passed, I'm still a strong advocate for St. Jude. Yeah. That's really, really awesome, and it's very cool that, you know, they kind of stay connected to y'all. I know we had another parent on here recently who said the same thing, you know, yeah. she's still connected with them even years after yeah. her child went through that, so that's definitely very cool and very grateful to St. Jude for that, yeah. definitely. It gives us all the more reason to um, continue to work with St. Jude. One of the ways you can do that is buying a ticket for the St. Jude Dream Home. Yes, definitely make sure to reserve yours. Um, they're going fast and it definitely it helps, um, goes to help, you know, families like Dawn's and people who are going through this with their kids. And um, we definitely want to continue supporting St. June. We're very glad that you came today to tell us your story. Thank you for and having me. Yes, definitely. And make sure to reserve your ticket at the number. It'll be on the screen. Um, and the tickets are running out fast. So if yeah, you want a chance at sure. Dream Home to help out families, go ahead and do that now. Well, stick around. We've got more news and weather after the break.